Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehanna's Cuisines. Today we are going to be doing a weave uh, buns. Um, these are super fun to make. They turn out amazing. They are great to work. Um, I just had so much fun working with these. So if you want to learn how to do this, let's go ahead and review all the ingredients. But before we do that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so. If you have subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And um, don't forget to hit that bell because they're going to send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Let's get started. So for our dough, we are going to be doing five cups of white flour, which is um, all purpose unbleached flour, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, half a cup of mayonnaise, and you want this to be full fat mayonnaise, one egg, one tablespoon of um, yeast. We're gonna need three fourth cup of milk and three fourth cup of water. So let's go ahead, mix all these two together first. Let this froth before we start binding the dough. So I'm gonna add my milk and water in there. Now just make sure that the um, milk is uh, the mixture is not hot because otherwise you're going to kill the yeast so the yeast goes in the sugar goes in we're going to mix this we're going to wait until this gets frothy and starts bubbling before we start kneading the dough look at how beautifully um frothy this has become this is perfect this is when you know that your yeast is active and so now let's go ahead and uh, put all the other ingredients in so in goes our salt our egg goes in and then we're gonna add our mayonnaise in here. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that I have put this mat in the description box below. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me about uh, this mat that I use, and this is an amazing, amazing mat. I just love it. So uh, it comes in three different sizes and colors, and I have put it in the description box below if you would like to order it. So again, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix all this really well first before I add my liquid in. Now, just remember that all flours are different. So if you feel like you're binding, you, you know, you did the measurements and you feel that you still need more liquid in there, then just go ahead and add a little bit of warm water, starting off with just a little bit um, and then getting to the consistency that I'll show you. Um, don't add all at one time, but this one, if you add all in one time, it's fine because I have um, worked with this recipe for a long time. I perfect my recipes before they go on YouTube. So they go through a testing of at least three to four times before I post it. So now I'm just gonna start adding that in here and mixing it all together. So you see what the consistency is right now, where it's coming, it's cleaning off the bowl, and I'm still gonna bind, uh, knead it more. The more you knead this, the uh, really nice, soft um, texture you're gonna get. So you wanna keep knead this for just a while. Uh, maybe I would say a good three, four minutes. If you have a KitchenAid machine or any other uh, mixing machine, you go ahead, go ahead and use that. As I have uh, also noticed that when you bind it in the machine, you just get a really nice soft consistency. I'm just gonna get that all off the... And now I'm just gonna bind it for at least five minutes. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this dough looks. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back onto my um, pan here. I'm gonna cover this up and I'm gonna let this rise until, until it's double in size. Once, in that, when, once it's double in size, I'll show you the consistency. Right, I want you to see the dough here. Look at how beautiful this dough is, okay? So now I'm just going to make two sections out of it and then we're gonna start making it. I'm just gonna make equal dough parts here 
and um, I also want to show you so my, can you they see this part here all right so I've got my red chutney ready here I'll put up a link for that um, also I have my ground beef ready so I'll put up a link for that as well and um, now I'm just gonna make the rounds and then I'll show you how I'm going to do this So you want to get this rolled out a little bit larger just because we're going to be making two pieces out of this, okay? You can see that uh, I don't like adding too much flour because I want these buns to be really, really nice and soft. So what I'm trying to get here is I want to get to a rectangle shape. So um, so it should be, I would say. Um, a two and a half by two and a half strips doesn't have to be exact at all this is just approximate that I'm telling you I'm showing you the first one so that you have an idea of how I'm going to get this together see here all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half and then what we're going to do is I'm going to put one on top of the other just like so now see how we've got the edge here where just pull that so it's nice and square and just roll it if you can if you want All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add um, chutney on this here. Then I'll add the ground beef mixture on top. The piece that's on the bottom is going to go up and it's going to cover everything. So what I'm going to then come and do is I'm just going to press down. Just like so. And if you have some on top, don't worry, it's not gonna show. Okay. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put a little bit more chutney on here. Now this is completely optional. If you don't wanna put the chutney, that's completely fine. If you just wanna do one layer of chutney, that's completely fine. I'm just showing you what you can do. Okay. At this point, I'm gonna put the top layer, bring that down. Stretch and seal. Okay. Now, we're gonna make some slits. And that depends on how thick or thin you want your slits. Okay. So I'm gonna start off with one. I'm gonna start off in the corner here, it's easier. Okay. And we're gonna lift the first one up, the second one down. I'm gonna do the same thing with. 
lift this first one up. And what I'm basically trying to get to is a weave. Okay, now we have the last one. Okay, now you see all the loose ends? Just stretch it. I'm gonna turn it. going to wrap it on the bottom like that. Okay. Okay, so we have it in a weave shape. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll come back and I'll show you um, all of them. I've got two egg yolks over here. Um, you could use one egg, one egg yolk. You could do two eggs, whatever you want. I'm just doing uh, two egg yolks because I want the color to be really nice and rich. So I'm just gonna paint my egg wash right on top. These, uh, you could add some um, paprika, some sumac, or some dried parsley on top. Um, but I'm gonna leave them as it is. Um, also, make sure you're subscribed because I'm planning to do a sweet version of these. I also have a video of these um, um, in where I fried them. So they're actually samosas, they're weave samosas. So I'll put up a link so you can check that out. So I have a lot of ideas on um, a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing soon, especially with the month of Ramadan coming, okay? Okay, so basically now what I'm gonna do is stick this in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna let you know how long it took to bake. This, uh, when you make them at home, um, I, I haven't made the other ones, but it should be, you should be able to get about 10 to 12 out of them, depending on how uh, big or small you make them. All right, so these are ready. Um, they took about 25 minutes to bake and they are beautifully golden brown. Um, Samaya, are you getting a close-up? Yep, okay. So look at how soft these are. Look at that. Look at how beautifully. Now I did put a little bit of ghee on top just to keep them really nice and soft. And you can see here that this was the perfect one. This is the one that I had added the, um, the red chutney inside and then um, the ground beef. So now I get to do a taste test. Oh my God. This dough is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm telling you, if you haven't made my green chutney, uh, red chutney, please do so because when you're adding that into the um, into the buns, um, the taste is amazing. It's just such a beautiful taste. So, um, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.